Okay, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can change your login avatar, and that's that there. So when you're logging into your Chromebook, you will see an avatar of yourself or an image you've chosen from uh, the selection you've got. So if you go to settings here, and then go to personalization, and up here you'll see change device account image. Now, if you click on that, you can see you've got this here, that will just take a photo of your from your webcam if you want to do that, and you can do it as a video or a picture. Well, you've got these ones here, the animated ones that are provided as standard. But what I'm gonna do, if you've got a picture, for example, you want to use, you just use this. But there's, there's a few things I would do before doing that, just to streamline it and make it much smaller than needed. So what I mean by that is, if I go to the downloads folder here, I've just downloaded this here off the um, internet very quickly and it's just a nice cute picture of a panda. But as you can see, the size of it, 442 kilobytes, okay, it's not massive, but it could be smaller. And but it's always best to try and use as less storage space as you need. So if you open that up there, it is currently 1920 by 1266. So a good indication of knowing what is the best resolution to use, if you go back to settings and then just go to personalization, choose device, let's just choose any of these and just do save image as, that's downloaded to our downloads folder. And then if we open that up, we'll be able to see the width is 192 and the height is 192. So we can safely say we can do that the same with this one here, and that will dramatically reduce this size here. So open that up, open that just there. This here locks the, the actual ratio, so leave that locked for now, and we're just putting 192, and that changes it to 127. So that isn't 192 by 192. So because you may want to keep it as what the standard default is for these here are, which is 192, 192, I'm gonna do the same with this one here. So the way you do that is if we just discard changes, click on resize again, take that off, and then when you take that off, you can change them independently. So that's 192, and that one's 192 like that and then click save and then close that and you'll see that has gone down a lot in size but you can make it smaller than that as well so if we go to open up google and this is where i got this picture from pixabay where you can get free images to use and just go, go to the squoosh app s q u OOSH, you can do this from your browser, it's fine. And it's created by Google, it's fantastic for making images smaller. Just click on there, and then choose the one we want, which is that one. And there you will see, it's on JPEG, and it supports JPEG, so that's fine. Look how small that is, 5.67 kilobytes, keeping 75% quality. And as you go like that, it will show you the difference in quality. There's hardly none. If, for example, you put this right down here, then you should see a dramatic difference in quality like that, which we wouldn't want. You can see it pixelate. So we put that back up to 75. Bearing in mind, this is quite a small login avatar image. It doesn't need to be perfect. So we leave it as that, download. And then if we go into the folder, we'll see it's there. Now, the good news is if we add this to our image here, so click on there. So I'll just show you how to go back to there just in case. So there, then settings, then personalization, change device account image, and then click on here. And we want to choose the one with just the smallest one there, six kilobytes. Just click on that and then press open and then that's your image. Now the good thing is you don't need to keep that. So that's what you'll see when you log in in the future. Obviously you can change it to whatever you want, any image you want, but you don't have, it's not set in stone. It has to be 192192. You can upload just a normal image size if you want, but then they're gonna be much larger. And these store in system files somewhere because 
you don't need to keep the file. So for example, this is the file here. If I delete that file and delete that one underneath and that one actually as well, if I delete them, it doesn't stop that from working. That avatar will still be there. So it must be stored somewhere in a system file somewhere. So personalization, change device, you can see it's still there. If you shut down and look back in, it will still be there, but it's not in your downloads folder, which is great. So you don't need to keep the file once it's uploaded. That's why it's best to try and make sure you put it as small as you can, because this is obviously being used in your system file somewhere, which if we went to storage, um, storage here, it would be in here somewhere. So that's why you want to try and keep it as small as you can because you can see at the moment that's using 44 gigabyte but there's other reasons for that which is fine okay so i hope you liked this video if you did please like and subscribe to the channel for future videos and thanks for watching